Uh, thank you so much for, for coming today for this workshop. I'm really excited to talk a little bit about the Moodle Educator Certification Program. And if you were part of the workshop yesterday, could you just put up your hand just so I can see? Yay. These are some of our, our, our people who were in the workshop yesterday, so you can ask them about their experiences and ask me afterwards. I'll be around for, the, for this evening as well as for tomorrow. So please, uh, if you have questions as we go through, we'll have time at the end but then also throughout the mood, I'm happy to meet with you and to talk more. So yesterday we talked a lot about, you know, what does it mean? What does empowering educators mean? And we had a great presentation this morning when Martin was talking about, you know, quality education and how does this relate in a global context, especially when we're talking about sustainable development goals. And, you know, looking at it from that collective global perspective, what does that mean? And in terms of the Moodle Educator Certification Program, that also means thinking about how can we support educators around the world. And you'll hear me talking about educators. And when I talk about educators, I mean teachers, where that's your job description. I mean um, trainers, where you might be in a workplace and you're in a workplace training program dealing with compliance. I might also be talking about faculty at a higher education institution or sometimes you're in that role where you're the go-to person. You get the thousand phone calls in a day or in an hour <laughs> uh, to how, how can you help with their program. So all of those areas, all of those areas of expertise, I'm putting under the topic of educators. So as I'm talking about the program, this uh, MEC program is designed to really help support and empower educators so that they can be creating these teaching and learning programs with Moodle. So the real focus of, of our, of our um, program is looking at teaching practice and how can we improve teaching practice and some of the thinking behind this is what I'm going to be sharing today. So if we look at it in terms of how do we take um, maybe somebody who's brand new to Moodle or maybe they're just transitioning from one LMS to another or maybe this is, you know, they're just launching into their careers and, and they're new to education, they're new to teaching, they're new to instructing. How can we help build their capacity? How can we help build their capacity and help them feel confident so that they can take the knowledge that they have in the subject area and actually put it into a Moodle environment to create that space so that they're creating really positive learning experiences for their students? So as we think about this teaching practice, as we think about teaching and learning, we always have that end student in mind. And so, you know, I, my background is in teaching. I was a, a teacher. I taught middle school and high school. I've also been involved with professional learning, so working with teachers. So I always have some of those key students that, that kind of resonate, like what did they need and what could I have done? And when I'm working with professional learning, I think about those educators who uh, again, had this incredible amount of expertise, but didn't have that confidence in, uh, in, in the online environment. So this program is really about supporting that uh, so that we can focus on improving teaching practice. So here we're going to look at two areas. We think about the Moodle M Educator Certification Program as a comprehensive curriculum where we really focused on digital competencies. And I'm going to go into those digital competencies in a little bit. The other piece that we've really focused on is recognizing mastery. We know how many experienced Moodlers there are out there. So through the MEC program, you're able to go through a system where your, your achievement is acknowledged by badges and by certificates. So I'll go through the full complement of the, the different certificates that we have as well as the badging options. In the development of the program, there's always been sort of an accreditation lens. So thinking about how can we actually use this program to acknowledge achievement that has that rigor, that has that, uh, that level of curriculum, so that we can look at how can we best serve, especially our higher education and our teachers, and how can that be built into the program. So the main focus is building digital competence. So building digital competence with Moodle. So how can we use Moodle tools and resources to do this in our teaching practice? It's about that certification and recognition so that we have a global language. 
in that global language, we also have that opportunity to collaborate. So here at Moots, I think these are always some of the best experiences when, you know, sometimes it's in the hallway conversation, sometimes it's in a question in the middle uh, of a presentation, sometimes it's you, you see what somebody's doing, you hear their story, and it inspires something for you in your own practice. So how can we do that? How can we do that in a, in a training environment? And then also exploring innovative ways to use Moodle. And so I often talk about when I first started using Moodle in 2005, 2006, I was gifted these courses. I, was, I just logged in and there were courses waiting for me. It just happened, it was magic, I was a gift. <laughs> But now more and more to prepare students for an increasingly online world, our educators need to be able to create these courses. They might not have somebody who's gifting them and putting everything together with the graphics, with the uh, UX, with the UI, with all of the things put together uh, into, into their modules. So how can we explore innovative tools and how can we showcase some of the different things that can happen within Moodle and how can we use that uh, in terms of the digital competencies? So it's about creating that common language of collaboration. So wherever you are, you can be thinking about something like learner collaboration, which was the workshop that we did yesterday. And whether you're in Cape Town, South Africa, or whether you're in Hyderabad in India, you can be talking about learner collaboration and as educators who've gone through the program, you have a common understanding of learner collaboration and you have all of these amazing ideas of how you're incorporating this into your practice. So I like to, I admit, live in this you know, sparkly world with a little bit of glitter, and I think about MoodleNet and how that's really going to help us to be able to connect and to share those resources. And I think the keynote this morning really you know, just sparked some, some more excitement about what that's going to look like when participants who've gone through the program can connect and share and really collaborate at a global scale. So a little bit about the, the background, the research-based curriculum uh, that goes behind the MEC. So there are three areas that we've drawn from. One is the relational model for teaching and learning, and that's a, a holistic approach to teaching and learning where we're really looking at that vertical articulation. How can we look at a competence-based program and start thinking about where we are at the beginning and how our learning continues to evolve and those competencies continue to grow as we um, build and develop knowledge and skill. For the content, for the digital competencies that we're focusing on, we use the European framework for the digital competence of educators. So that was published at the very end of 2017. And in this document, they, they outline, it was based on years of research, many, many researchers involved in this project, and they look to see what do educators need, whether you're in those early learning years or in schools from you know, kindergarten up until grade 12, what does it look like anything after school, post-secondary, vocational training, um, higher education, colleges, universities? What are the digital competencies that educators need? And then also in workplace. So these digital competencies really encompass, you know, what can help educators in their teaching and learning practice so that they can be using these digital competencies, technologies, applications for their students so that the, the environment that they're creating and the learning experiences that they're creating are really positive. Then the final thing that you'll see is the European, or the International Bureau of Education and the UNESCO um, documents that, uh, take a, a really transformative approach to curriculum development. So they've outlined five stages of curriculum development to really reflect that global perspective of quality teaching. So we followed those five stages and right now we're in that initial implementation and feedback stage where we're getting that monitor program monitoring and feedback from participants, from our middle partner facilitators so that that program continually grows and develops. So that's built into the program. Looking at the, the relational model for teaching and learning, there are four approaches, and so I'm just going to quickly go through those four approaches right now. I'm gonna start with design. Design is about creating those, those learning experiences for students. How are we creating effective learning experiences for students, and what does that look like when we're able to you know, use our knowledge of Moodle tools and resources to do that? This, uh, the design section is about managing information. It's about offering opportunities for critical thinking. 
It's about being responsive to the needs of the students in our classes. And really, again, focusing on as educators, what's our role to create an effective learning experience for them? When we look at guide, that's, that's about how are we guiding our learners? How are we um, giving them feedback? How, what, what do our teaching interventions look like when we recognize that they need extra supports? What does it look like when we're focusing on learning objectives? What's the objective of this task? What is the objective of this learning? So in the guide section, that's really where we're focusing on that facilitation. And how are we providing learners agency? Agency so that they can demonstrate their understanding, so that they can demonstrate their skill. And so when we think about it in terms of the Moodle Educator Certification Program, how can we really explore Moodle tools and resources to be able to do that for our learners? The Connect section is all about that engagement. Engagement with the content, engagement with each other, uh, engagement with peers, uh, engagement with the, with the facilitators and the educators in the program. So how are you doing that? How are you providing those opportunities for communication and collaboration? And what does that look like using Moodle tools and resources? So part of what we're doing at the same time of, as the, the development and quality testing of the program, we're also engaging focus groups. So we're getting some of that key targeted feedback from people who use Moodle in their everyday practice. And some of our initial findings are that this is the one area, that learner collaboration is an area that they know is important, but they're not too sure what that looks like um, and, and the, the breadth of things that they can be doing to do that in Moodle. So it's exciting to think about how these modules are really going to help those educators. And then finally, the reflect. Reflect is about thinking about progress and achievement. Reflect is about thinking, what does success look like? And what kind of supports do I need? So in a Moodle environment, how are ed, um, learners able to really look at, wh where am I at? What's the goal? How am I going to get there? And where am I at in my learning? This is also about assessment and evaluation, and, and how are we providing opportunities to do that using Moodle tools and resources. So those are the four teaching approaches, and what we've done is we've used those four approaches to organize the 22 digital competencies. So when we talk about curriculum framework, this is part of the curriculum framework that we've developed. On the top level, those, in, those uh, modules go together to create our foundation level certificate. So each of these digital competencies, you can get a badge within the program. And then um, with the six, the six modules, and you get your Moodle Educator Certificate. And there are other certificates that are also included, and I'll go through those uh, towards the end of the, the presentation. We followed a consistent format for every single module. Because if we start to think about what these look like as a menu, if there's areas that you want to focus on, then you might be starting at one module where somebody else is just finishing with that one. So for that consistency, we have the same module structure for each of the different modules. And what's really wonderful is being able to work with your Moodle partner facilitators so that you can really customize and look at um, the kind of programming that you want and the kinds of services that they can provide. So in our structure of our program, we have the design challenges. So in those design challenges, what's really key is you bring your own context. At no point in time is someone going to say, you know, pretend you're a grade eight uh, math teacher and create a Moodle uh, learning activity for it. Because we need this learning to be relevant. It needs to be relevant to your context. So wherever, whatever subject area that you're teaching, whatever focus um, that, you, that your institution has, wh in whatever place you're an educator, you can be creating design challenges and learning activities that you can pick up and actually bring immediately into your practice. So that even if you look at, let's say, the foundation level certificate, there are six modules where you're creating two design challenges. So you're going to walk away with 12 learning activities that you can immediately bring into your practice. And you've had the support and the guidance and facilitation from, from a, a Moodle partner facilitator. Every single design challenge is evaluated on two different levels. One is knowledge, and the other is skill. So knowledge, we're looking at what's the knowledge of the Moodle tool? 
Uh, how have you selected? You know, is it an appropriate selection uh, for the activity? Do you have it configured properly? Have you used the settings properly to create a really effective experience for your learners? So that's the knowledge, where we're looking at knowledge and use of the Moodle tool. Then we have the skill, and that's where the digital competencies um, are worked in. So this is that competence-based program where you're evaluated on the skill, such as learner collaboration. And so you'll notice the four levels of achievement, starting from emerging, developing, competent, and mastery. And so these terms are kind of containers where it isn't necessarily a one out of four and you're a 25% student. <laughs> it, it's about acknowledging where are you at in your learning. So emerging, maybe you're brand new, maybe you're new to Moodle, uh, you're just emerging and launching into your learning. Des developing, so you've learned some skills, you're, you're trying some things out, but you may just not quite be there yet. There's some work, there's some facilitation that your facilitator can, can provide. There's some supports, there's some guidance that they can provide. So this is definitely that strength-based program where we believe that people can be at that competent and mastery level. And through the facilitation and supports, uh, we, can, we can help participants get so that they're creating really effective, engaging learning experiences for their students. And mastery, mastery is especially useful for those who come with the expertise. They already have, they've been using Moodle for years, they're doing it really well. They have amazing feedback and suggestions for our own modules, and I'll talk about that. There's a little section where, where you're able to provide that input. So those are the four levels of, of achievement that we're looking at, and that's consistent throughout every single session. So we have the same, same design. We have the start, explore, design, reflect within every single module. Start is, you know, this is what this module is about. Here are all the, you know, the assessment tools that we're using. This is how to get your sandbox. So every participant receives a sandbox. They receive their own working space. That's their, that's their area to try things out, to explore. All of these modules are hosted on Moodle server, so it'll always be the most recent update. So if you're starting to think about updating and you want some of that support to, to learn the new features and tools, this is another you know, another approach to using um, the MEC and the modules. In the start section, we also have a module glossary. So that's an area where you can go and explore because some people just, they didn't know something existed. So we have, we've curated everything, all of our Moodle docs, our, our videos, you'll be able to access that there so that especially if you're trying to push those boundaries of trying some of the new Moodle activities, you can, you can access all of that information there. In the explore section, this is where we're starting to explore the digital competency. So there's a lesson that you're engaging with. You learn about some of the key ideas, what's involved with this digital competency. And then we provide two examples. So we really try to respond to the feedback that we had from educators who were interested in the program. And they wanted to know, you know, in our institution, there's a whole bunch of things that are shut down and we, we just actually want to know more of what, what's out there. So in these examples, we've tried to showcase some of those things that are, that are available within Moodle. So we provide a book on that. We provide, you know, this is the context of when this example would be used. Uh, this is why we chose the tool that we did. And then finally, um, this is how you do it if you, if you want to follow this step by step with the screen captures. The design section begins with a forum. We're trying to build in a community of practice right within every single module. So that's your place where if you are struggling with something and you're looking for some support, you can reach out to the peers in your cohort or the peers in your course or reaching out to your facilitator. And that's also where if you've just figured something out, that's pretty cool. You want to share that, you want to say, hey, I think this actually might help one of my colleagues in this course. Um, you can share that in, that in that community practice, in that forum. Then in the design challenge, there are the, there's the assignment where you can upload your learning activity. So you're creating your learning activity in your portfolio, then you upload it and put it into, um, into the design section. And then it's evaluated. Once you have gone through the two design challenges and you get the feedback from your facilitator, what that does is it opens up the reflect section. And in the reflect section, that's really where we're getting that feedback. We want to know, what are you taking away from this module? How is this impacting your teaching practice? 
So maybe you're thinking, hey, I really like that module glossary. I'm going to do the same thing for my course. That might be something that you share. Or maybe you learned a really key feature of a, a, Moodle, um, a Moodle activity that you've never been able to quite figure out, and you know that's going to have a huge impact on your teaching practice. So you might share that. So once you share some of the ways, you know, think about it, your experience in the module, reflect on that, and share that in there, that opens up a module feedback. In that module feedback, that's your direct connection to us. That's a way that we're using your voice, we're using your experience as a participant in the module to continually improve and develop it. Because sometimes achievement is only looked at that academic line. You know, what percent did they get on, on the final summative test? And that's used to measure success. We want you to be successful, but we also want to know what can we do from a Moodle headquarters perspective to continually improve and develop the program. So your voice uh, carries directly to us so that we can continue to do that. So overall, when we're looking at the program, we're looking at, you know, what does quality teaching and learning look like? And we've identified 10 areas that we've tried to role model in the module delivery, in the modules um, themselves in terms of the content, but also within the curriculum framework. So throughout the curriculum framework, using the relational model for teaching and learning, using the digital competencies, these are 10 areas that we feel are really important and we feel that the MEC can help provide that, um, that program for you to be able to develop within your teaching practice. So I'll finish up just talking about the badges and the certifications. With, um, once you've completed your reflection, your module feedback, then you're awarded a badge uh, for each of the different modules. And earlier today in the keynote, you saw the certificate with all the official badges on the side. And uh, you'll also notice, again, we've really created this program with that accreditation lens. So um, the foundation level certificate is that core certification. And then you can also receive certificates on the different teaching approaches. So if you've completed all the modules in the design section, you can get a design uh, certificate as well, or guide, or reflect, or connect. If you've finished all of them, then we have a comprehensive teaching and learning certificate uh, for the MEC. So that is a really, it feels really quick. I hope it didn't feel too long, but that's a, a really large overview of what the program is, why it was designed the way that it was, and then also opportunities where we're trying to think, you know, I think the slide this morning said, what was it, 158 million users? You know, so how can we from Moodle headquarters provide the framework for the modules so that through your Moodle partner network, um, the Moodle partners are the ones who really know their clients, they know their needs so that they can be able to provide that, um, that opportunity for you. So I'm open to any questions. If you're not thinking of something now, I'll definitely, I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> any questions? Would anyone like, oh, yep. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> if I go back to, there we go. So every single one of those bullet points, that, that's a module and that's a badge. If you complete six that are part of our foundation level, so those are the top ones, universal design, open content, um, guiding learning across the whole section there. Th those are our, our foundation level programs. That's our foundation level certificate. We just launched those in, in February. And so our Moodle partners, we've, they've actually gone through a whole other training. They've gone through a facilitator training curriculum. And so they're offering those six modules right now. Yeah, yes, yes. And I think you're going to hear more about that uh, coming up next with Greece, Greece presentation. Thank yeah, you. yeah. How much does it cost? <laughs> these are these are wonderful questions, <laughs> and this is where you know th this is where as Moodle headquarters we've provided the framework, we've provided the curriculum, and then it, it's our Moodle partners. They're the ones who you know we looked at around around our whole network with over, over ninety Moodle partners, and we looked at what have they already done, and they've focused amazing courses and trainings on the Moodle tools on um, course administration and setting, um, administrative settings. 
And so how could we help support and add to that full complement of training? And so it's a digital competence-based uh, program for teaching and learning. And so those decisions in terms of cost and availability, those are all independent decisions that our, our middle partners are, are presenting. So um, Chad, you can talk to Chad over here at the booth and Catalyst is also offering um, our, our MEC program here in this area. You can also go to Moodle, uh, Moodle.com, Moodle Education, and then you can find there's um, uh, a website there where you can just click on and you can be connected, or you can even email. You can email me, you can email education at Moodle.com, and we can help connect you to, to some of the services that you need. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much.